Good evening, everyone. Suburban Sentinel here with another edition of Gentleman's Rules. And in the last few weeks, we've been discussing hats. And in the last episode, we started on hat etiquette, specifically covering when a gentleman should tip his hat. And in this episode, we will begin with when a gentleman should doff or remove his hat. If you haven't seen the previous videos about gentlemen's hats, I will leave the links to those videos in the description box below. Now, before getting into when to doff your hat, let's talk about how. And believe it or not, there is a specific method for removing your hat. First, when you remove your hat or doff your hat, you want to use your right hand. And that's traditional for the same reason we use our right hand when we tip our hat. It's a show of friendliness when you're using your weapon hand. When you remove your hat, you're going to take your right hand, and assuming you're wearing a hat with a full brim, you're going to pinch the crown of your hat, pull up and forward, and then either down, straight down or to your side. The key to removing your hat is to make sure that the interior of the hat is not exposed to public view. You want to keep the inside of the hat pointed towards yourself. And that is traditional as well. So again, fairly straightforward. Bella the camera cat is coming here to help. Come here. You're going to, with your right hand, pinch the crown of your hat up and forward. Keep the interior of your hat facing you. So down to the nitty gritty. The first rule, a gentleman always doffs his hat in the presence of a lady. Now, who is a lady? Well, obviously, it would include any adult female. And personally, I have expanded this definition to include older teenage girls. And I do this for two reasons. Uh, one, I have a difficult time ascertaining or guessing whether someone is in the age of 18 years old or not. And second, I don't think it does any harm. I think it's good for young ladies to be exposed to gentlemen who are well-mannered at an early age. So you really can't hurt anyone by doffing your hat. Second issue is what does presence mean? Well, presence does not mean saying hello in passing. If you're standing with or sitting with a lady, you are deemed in her presence. So the bottom line is if your feet ain't moving, and there's a lady there, doff your hat. So now let's talk about men's hats and being indoors. Some guys believe that a gentleman must doff his hat anytime he is inside. Now that's not a bad policy to follow, but actually it's a myth. And there's a very practical reason why you may want to keep your hat on while inside, if it's allowable under the rules of etiquette. Suppose, for example, that you have your hat on your head and you have a briefcase and a couple of packages. Having to doff your hat is one more thing you have to carry. And unless you have three hands, it can be a little difficult. So if you want to know the specific rules, and these get a little squirrely, they can be kind of complicated, but listen to the next portion of the video. If you want to go hat off inside, more power to you. Nothing wrong with it. Dwellings. A gentleman should doff his hat when entering a dwelling house. Now this is a rule I'm breaking right now but my wife will forgive me because it's only for the purposes of a video. So when you're invited into someone's home, doff your hat. 
before you walk through the threshold. So now let's talk about condominiums, apartment buildings, and hotels. And this is where it starts to get a little tricky. The general rule is that a gentleman may leave his hat on in the public spaces within those buildings. So hotel lobbies are fine, you can leave your hat on. Same thing for common areas in a condominium, as well as corridors between buildings or between units or even among several units. They're more like public streets so your hat can remain on. And here's where it gets really tricky. Elevators. Uh, the general rule is that a public elevator in a large building, it's usually okay to leave your hat on, but if it's a smaller building that consists exclusively of dwellings, you should remove your hat. Also remember that these rules are subject to the other rules, so if there's a lady in the elevator, you would automatically remove your hat anyway. Restaurants. Doff your hat in a restaurant. And with certain very limited exceptions, which we'll probably get to in the next video, never sit at a dining table with your hat on. It's very straightforward. Even if the restaurant is all guys, hat comes off. So now let's talk about other types of buildings. The general rule is a man removes his hat in any type of building where he is either expected to sit or may be invited to sit or should show deference to authority. So what does all that gobbledygook mean? Well, by way of example, you should doff your hat inside office buildings, unless it's in the common areas like the elevators or the corridors. Uh, theaters, courthouses, uh, town and city halls, other government buildings, classrooms, and funeral parlors. Uh, by way of example, uh, public buildings where it's okay to leave your hat on include airports, the post office, uh, grocery stores and markets, and shops that you may go into from time to time. So those are some of the basic rules of hat etiquette. And this video has gone on way too long, so we will pick up more on hat etiquette in the next video where we will deal with special circumstances and other types of buildings and events. And this cat is really driving me crazy. Thanks for watching. This is the Suburban Sentinel.